Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. HBAR takes over Qatar with $50 million digital assets venture studio. Nice. Okay guys, so got an article here for you and I thought I'd share it with you again. Uh, Hedera continuing to make strides within the crypto sector. Now, we already had a deal that was recently done with Saudi Arabia, right? That was a $250 million deal. And now we've got this $50 million deal as well. Um, look, I, I think this is great, especially as they go into places like Saudi Arabia, Qatar. Why? One, they seem very crypto friendly. And I always say this go away celebrated, not tolerated, right? Like if you're looking at the, uh, the US right now and the way the SEC are going on, why would you bother trying to do anything here? right why, why would you want to be trying to set up a hub over here right now with the way the sec are they're just looking for any excuse to sue people and companies so at the end of the day why are you going to try and innovate in a country that clearly is not really trying to help you right if anything they're trying to shoot you down right they're actually really trying to stifle you so at the end of the day in my opinion i think this really does make sense and the other thing is these countries are very rich right they're very wealthy countries so trying to build up over there and with them being crypto friendly that's only going to help Hedera in the long term right it's only going to build up big relationships it's only going to help in terms of like the regulations over there like they could play a part in helping to shape regulations over those countries right because they're still figuring all this out right we can see that so they're going to be in a position where they could really benefit from this right and it's also just going to help with adoption right these kind of deals and stuff like this that they're doing it's all going to be things that's going to be benefiting in the end ultimately the hadira hash graph right like obviously so to me when i look at it in the long term i get it this is a strategy that will pay off over time it's not something that may pay off like right now but over time it will so i completely understand the play here and i'll give you this just from the subheading where you can see just part of this new account creation booms on hbar's chain after qatari signs a strategic partnership to build a digital asset studio so look at that straight away just off of the back of it you've had a boom of new accounts so you can already see the immediate impact so this is what i mean guys like people are always just looking for the price impact of stuff but you can already see how it will impact the price at some point in time because this has led to people creating new accounts people getting involved with hbar so you can see the impact being done just because you can't see in terms of the actual price figure going up of hbar doesn't mean that it's not going to have a positive impact in the long term so you can already see that so i think this is a smart play but let's get into the article and then we can discuss this a little bit further Hedera Hashgraph, in brackets HBAR, is known to make a strong case for adoption via the variety of partnerships the blockchain's parent company has established. A month ago, HBAR received a powerful boost when BlackRock's money market fund, in brackets MMF, went live on Hedera's chain. The Hashgraph Association, an independent non-profit organization, has made huge strides towards bringing this unique blockchain's capabilities to a national level via partnerships with governmental institutions. In February 2024, the Hashgraph Association struck a five-year deal with the Ministry of Investment of Saudi Arabia, in brackets MISA. HBAR enters deal to build digital asset studio in Qatar. In February, the Saudi Arabian government invested $250 million in the project to build the Deep Tech Venture Studio in Riyadh. By doing so, it aims to leverage advancements in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, virtual reality, and more. This time, the Hashgraph Association has entered a deal with Qatar, one of the world's richest countries. With a $50 million development fund, the Hashgraph Association is trusted to build a digital assets venture studio to rapidly accelerate the research and development of the digital financial landscape. Qatar's Digital Assets Lab within the QFC Innovation Dome supports the new digital assets venture studio as part of Qatar's, quote, National Vision 2030, unquote. Moreover, the venture studio by HBAR tends to focus on building bankable decentralized finance solutions. According to Youssef Mohamed Al-Jada, 
the chief executive officer of Qatar's financial center. This new partnership is, quote, instrumental in advancing our efforts in developing and launching innovative projects that establish the country as a financial and commercial hub by 2030, unquote. New wallet creations pop off on the Qatari partnership. The Venture Studio will last four years and complete the initiative by 2028, empowering local businesses in Qatar. The Hashgraph Association contributes 20% of the $50 million fund, providing local startups and businesses with tutoring, engineering, financing and development services. Furthermore, Businesses participating in the 50 million digital assets venture studio program can access digital asset solutions, including tokenizing real world assets, in brackets RWAs, on HBAR's distributed ledger. This strategic initiative has already borne fruit in Hadira's blockchain's rapidly rising new wallet count. Over 83,000 new wallets were created on Hadira's distributed ledger on May 15th, as the application was announced in Doha. HBAR's price stayed consolidated, picking up 1.1% gains over the past 24 hours. As of press time, Hadira Hashgraph is trading at 11 cents, with a 24-hour trading volume of $80 million, bringing about 108% gains in yearly terms. HBAR is still over 80% down from its all-time peak, recorded two and a half years ago at 56 cents on September 15, 2021. Why this matters? The $50 million incubator is directed at regulatory compliant structured financial products that are based on the blockchain technology. Such collaborations between blockchain developers and governmental institutions open the doors for clearer worldwide crypto regulation. Okay guys, beautiful stuff man, beautiful stuff. So, first things first, I just want to clear up one of the things that they said at the end. Now don't get me wrong, all crypto media do this. They obviously just give you an update on the crypto token. But, you know, they mentioned HBAR being like 80% down from its previous all-time high. That's how it works for most cryptos. Like if you look around and look at most cryptocurrencies, they're all down from their all-time highs. And one example I can give you straight away is XRP because I'm an XRP holder. So I'm very aware that XRP is nowhere near its previous all-time high. So... This is just what happens in market cycles, right? So there's no surprise there. That's not anything to say that to me. That's no implication in terms of Hadira and how they're doing. That's just market cycles. That's having bull runs and bear runs. So, you know, at the time when it hit an all time high, it was in a bull run. Now it's been in a bear run. Now we're getting back into a bull run. So I expect at some point soon, it will into a new type of price level, right? We'll see a new type of price discovery for HBAR and see where it can go to. So that doesn't phase me one bit, to be honest with you. But yeah, guys, this is great. As you could hear, 83,000 accounts created off of the back of this news. Like, isn't that just amazing? That tells you that people are watching this stuff and it is impacting HBAR. And let me just say this one thing about price. I will say this. I don't know for sure. This is me more speculating. But I do think after the whole thing with BlackRock, that could have just put a bit of an issue in terms of HBAR's price action now going forward because I think a lot of people are going to be a bit more sceptical when they hear news about Hadira now because like I saw some of the comments when this came out and I was addressing it why I didn't think you know Hadira had in any way like misled their uh you know their investors in HBAR and stuff like that they didn't they didn't basically mislead anyone or anything like that and um you know, I could see people was up and down with it. There was people who believed, no, you know, they haven't done anything wrong. We completely get it. It was clear, like whatever. But then there were people who were like, you know, oh, Hadira is a scam. You know, they're trying to con us and blah, blah, blah. So there were some people who were still very uh, upset about the way it was handled and whatnot. Um, I agree. Uh, I agree with the other guys. To be honest with you. I, I didn't really have any issue with it. I think it was fine. The way they explained it was fine. I just think some people, they saw what they wanted to see, unfortunately, and that's the way they took it. But look, I do think now, like, you could have some great news, and I think a lot of people will be like, yeah, but is this true? So do you know what I mean? They might not just FOMO in the way they would have before, because it's like, how do I know this is even real this time? Is it a thing where I'm going to buy in and it's not even true again? And then the market tanks. Cause you know, some people would have really got affected by that. You know, that they jumped in when HBAR was pumping and you know, it was looking great. And then obviously 
the news came out by BlackRock that it was a, it was basically not actually a full blown partnership. Again, no fault on Hadira Zen there. I think people misinterpreted what was being said, but that then caused a lot of people to get concerned and, you know, panic sell and that kind of thing. Or some people have just been left holding the bag because, you know, they didn't sell and now the values dropped. So there's going to be people who have been annoyed and upset about it. It's just life. You can't please everyone. That's just the way it is. But I do think that can be something that could just have a huge impact on this now. People may not want to just buy in on just the back of good news now because they might think, well, is this true? Or I've seen it go up this high before and then it just lost all its value anyway. So there's going to be a bit of skepticism there, in my opinion. So that could be affecting things. So I'm not really, again, I, I don't follow price when it comes to this kind of stuff. I look at what's actually going on. So, for example, stuff like this, and this to me is a positive. Um, I think it's something that's going to add value to HBAR. And as they said earlier, when they were talking about like RWAs, for example, like tokenization, they're talking about doing it on the Hadira Hashgraph guys. Like they're not just saying, you know, go and do it on Cardano's blockchain or anything like that. Obviously, it's going to be to benefit Hadira in the end, right? So it makes sense for them to do this kind of stuff. So I think this is cool. Like I think it's going to be something that overall is going to be a positive for HBAR. And we've seen that already from the account creation. Like that's a lot of accounts to be done that quick on the back of that news. Like that's really positive. So you can already see that people are responding to this in a, you know, positive way. They're very bullish about this news. So I think that's great. And I think this can only be a good thing for HBAR in the end overall. But what do you guys think? Hadira's $50 million deal with Qatar. Do you like the sound of this? Do you think that this deal with Qatar will be positive for Hadira? Do you think that this will be good for HBAR's price? Or do you not like the sound of this? Is there anything about this deal that actually gives you cause for concern? Or do you just not think that this will be any good for HBAR's price overall long term? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.